My favorite conductor, Jean Baptiste Lully. Cooey Lully, I love you. Do I really do? Mm. Thank you. I think I, I love the conducting you do with the big stick too. All this stuff. Da 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 da. I love it. Love it. So much classier than that other fellow with his little twig. Rubbish. Do you mind? Ooh, sorry, maestro. If looks could kill. <laughs> I'm already dead, mate. I'm already dead. Keep up, keep up. So, uh, which of my musical pieces do you like the most? Uh, the one you just heard, perhaps? March for the Ceremony Turk? Or maybe you prefer my air de Dimon? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Listen, I'm not a big fan of your music, mate. I mean, it's all right and all that. But I am a big fan of your stupid death. Come on, organ grinder, that was your cue. Come on, here we go. Let's get the jingle. Come on, move it, you lot. Come on, who oh, watch it, you? Join in if you know the words. <laughs> One, two, three, four, stupid death, stupid death, said Ronnie, because they're true. <laughs> stupid death, stupid death, I'm not starving, not you. <laughs> oh. Oh, right. Come on then, Monsieur Lully, fire away. What's your story? Well, I was the official composer to none other than the French King Louis XIV. Between 1672 and 1686, I wrote no less than 20 operas, so... No, 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 no. Well done, top of the class, swatty trousers. But the stupid death, if you don't mind. In 1687, to celebrate Louis XIV's recent recovery from a terrible illness, I was conducting a te deum. A tedium? What's that? A spectacularly boring piece of music? <laughs> no, no, no. It's a te deum. It's a Latin. It means a hymn of praise. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. I was being amusing. Oh, sorry, you're French. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> I was beating time for the orchestra using my big staff, which I bang against the floor. You might have noticed me doing it on the way in with the... Oh, yes, maestro. You see, they hadn't invented tiddly little batons like yours in Lully's day, so they had to conduct using a proper big stick. Bee, 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 bee. See? Much better. Watch him. You'll learn something from him. Carry on. So, yes, I was beating time for the music like so. Boom, boom, boom. You get the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was a little bit careless and I missed the floor and struck instead my own toe. Ah, oh, not again! <laughs> that sounds almost as painful as it is funny. <laughs> yes, well, the, uh, the wound became infected, creating an abscess. Ooh, I like where this is going. And the abscess then developed gangrene. Yes. And um, I died. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, you came to a sticky end. <laughs> Do you get it because of the, because of the, she gets it. <laughs> hey, maestro, don't let him near one of your little batons. He'll probably have his eye out. <laughs> oh, come on then, Lolly. Let's get you backstage. I want to take a look at this gangrenous toe. <laughs> Exit music, please! Stupid death, stupid death, they're funny cause they're true. <laughs> stupid death, stupid death, hope next time it's not you. <laughs>